Hello and welcome to the Antimicrobial Stewardship in Wound Management module. We are absolutely delighted you've signed up for this course and we are looking forward to working with you throughout the next three weeks. As you'll have seen from the course outline, the course is split into three separate weeks. So it'll take you approximately two hours to complete each section. But you can work through this at a slower pace if that works for you better. Week one talks about the history of antimicrobial stewardship and also starts to present why this is important in wound management. Week two, we'll go on to wound infection, talk about wound infection and how antimicrobial stewardship works with wound infection. Week three, we'll then bring the theory into practice. We'll present different case studies for you to look at and to look at the knowledge and skills you've learned and implement these into your practice area. Because everything you've learned will be new, you'll want to change practice as well. And we know change can sometimes be difficult. So during week three, we're going to discuss change management strategies that you'll learn about, and then you'll be able to integrate these into your clinical practice as well. Throughout the course, we've got YouTube videos and different sorts of videos that will bring to life the theory that you'll be learning. There'll also be lots of extra reading as well. And we want you to read these different documents that we're going to give to you from the European Wound Management Association and also from different wound infection societies and antimicrobial societies. This will help you gain more knowledge, but will also give you more confidence to be able to put these new ideas into practice. We're also going to be having multiple choice questions throughout the modules where you'll be able to check your knowledge base as well. Don't worry if you get them wrong, you'll be able to go back and re-look at the information and redo the quizzes again. So it really doesn't matter if you don't know the answers first time. What is probably more important as well though, is you reflect on your own clinical practice and the knowledge and the skills that you learn throughout this course, you can take back into the clinical areas and look at what you currently do and how antimicrobial stewardship is implemented into your own areas. What we suggest you do is you talk to senior staff on the wards, you talk to infection prevention and to the tissue viability nurses and medics that you'll be working with and see how they use antimicrobial stewardship in their practice. Look at any guidelines and policies you have, make yourself familiar with them and then you can reflect upon how you're going to use these and use them effectively to improve patient outcomes. As I say, the course is split into three separate weeks of approximately two hours each week. Once you've completed all of this, you'll be able to download a certificate as well. So you'll be able to put those into your portfolio to show your, your continuing professional development. Myself and the team look forward to working with you throughout this course and we hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoy having you working with us. Thank you and enjoy.